The flow pattern is to be initiated by the pilot flying, without any prompting from the pilot monitoring. Once the flow pattern is complete, the pilot flying will call for the appropriate checklist. The pilot monitoring then starts at the beginning of the checklist and waits for a specific response from the pilot flying. This response is the checklist item's present condition or position. After the response is given, the pilot monitoring continues to the next item. This process is repeated until all checklist items are complete. Upon completion, the pilot monitoring will announce the checklist is complete. Let's watch the crew perform the before takeoff checklist. Captain doors remote to launch, takeoff briefing. All right, Justin, we are taking off on runway 17 left. Takeoff distance today is 1,100 feet. Runway length 3,901 feet. Liftoff speed today will be 55 knots. Initial climb suit will be 74. Our initial heading will be runway heading up to 2,500 feet. Then we will proceed on our UND published departure procedure. Destination today is Crookston. Emergency below VR. We'll perform the emergency below VR checklist. Emergency above VR will perform the emergency above VR checklist. In the event of any emergency, I'll have the flight controls. You'll have the radios and the checklist. Do you have any questions? No questions. Excellent. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Green correct. Trim. Set for takeoff. Flaps. Set to 10. Mixture. Rich. Veto heat. Off. Cabin power 12 volt switch. Off. Altitude and heading bugs. Set. Transponder. Set to 0102. Cabin door and window. Both are closed and latched. Takeoff briefing is complete. Aircraft flights on standby. Before takeoff checklist complete. All right. Students are encouraged to utilize all available resources when practicing checklist procedures. Online checklist trainers allow you to practice checklists in a simulated cockpit environment. Wall posters, or simply sitting in the actual aircraft with a power cart attached, are also an excellent means of practicing flow patterns. Using these resources in conjunction with the expanded procedures section of the Aircraft Standardization Manual will help you to master checklist procedures. Common use of the procedures outlined in this Aerocast episode will aid you and your crew in completing a safe and efficient flight every time. And hopefully, by mastering UND standardized checklist procedures, you will ensure success on your next pilot evaluation. From everyone at UND Aerospace and the staff of the UND Aerocast, we wish you all the best with the rest of your flight training. Have fun and fly safe. Anyway, here we go.